Unit 3, Video Lecture 2, Atomic Structure. We know at this point that atoms are not solid structures, that they can be broken down into subatomic particles. Now, the word subatomic, like submarine, has a prefix sub, which means below, and atomic, meaning the atom level. Like a submarine travels below, sub, the water, marine. So the word subatomic can be broken down into the word sub, meaning below, and atomic referring to atoms. So subatomic particles are going to be particles that are smaller than an atom. So what are our subatomic particles? Well, we have three. The first is the proton, the second is the neutron, and the third is the electron. The proton is found in the nucleus. The proton is positive. Proton is positive. And the mass of a proton is 1 AMU. AMU stands for atomic mass unit. AMU. Our second subatomic particle, the neutron, is also in the nucleus. So we have two subatomic particles in the nucleus, and the neutron is neutral. Here where we had proton and positive linking together, neutron and neutral, N-E-U-T-R, so neutrons are neutral. Neutrons also have a mass of one atomic mass unit. Our third subatomic particle, the electron, is found in the electron cloud. It has a charge of negative. And electrons are so small that we say that they have a zero mass. So again, looking at the atom, we have the red protons and yellow neutrons in the nucleus and the blue electrons outside of the nucleus in the electron cloud. This area down here in the center of the atom is called the nucleus. Something that's important to understand is we talk about an atom being neutral, meaning that the total number of positive charges equals the total number of negative charges. So that means the number of protons is going to be equal to the number of electrons. So how can we figure out the number of protons, the number of neutrons, and the number of electrons in an atom? What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a cell from the periodic table. And here, our cell from the periodic table, this top number, this 6, refers to the atomic number. This is the number of protons that is found in the nucleus. This blue number is the atomic mass. The atomic mass is the weighted average of all of our naturally occurring isotopes. From the atomic mass, we can calculate the mass number. Now, the mass number is slightly different. The mass number is the sum of the protons and the number of neutrons. Atomic mass is related to the mass number. Since the atomic mass is an average, is a weighted average, what we're going to do is we will round to a whole number to get the mass number. So if we were looking at carbon, we would say that the number of protons is 6, because that's the atomic number. The number of neutrons is 6, because our protons and our neutrons are going to equal our mass number. So 6 protons plus our number of neutrons is going to equal 12. So that means that we'll have 6 neutrons. And the number of electrons is also 6. Now these numbers aren't always going to line up this way, but in, this, in Carbon's case it does. So let's practice. Neon. If we're going to need its atomic number, let's look at the periodic table a neon on the periodic table, and we see that the number on top, the atomic number, is 10. 
So since the atomic number is 10, we know that the number of protons is 10 and the number of electrons is 10. Remember, these three are always going to be the same. Looking back at our periodic table, we see the, ma the atomic mass is 20.18. So since the atomic mass is 20.98, we round to get a mass number of 20. So the neutrons is equal to 20 equals 10 protons plus neutrons. So we have 10 neutrons. If we want to try to find an element that has a mass number of 7, we look back at our periodic table and start looking at it for atomic masses that would round to 7. So here, lithium has a mass, an atomic mass of 6.94. Round to the nearest whole number, this would give us a mass number of 7. Lithium's atomic number is 3. Element is lithium. It has an atomic number of 3, so that means it has 3 protons and 3 electrons. But now our mass number of 7 is equal to our protons, which is 3, plus our neutrons. So lithium has 4 neutrons. In our third example, an atomic number of 19, looking at our periodic table, the element that has an atomic number of 19 is potassium. And it has a mass number of 39.10. So potassium has an atomic mass, or an, an atomic number of 19, and has a mass number of 39. So since our atomic number, our protons and our electrons are the same, we can fill in 19 for protons and 19 for electrons. And then we have 39 equals 19 plus the number of neutrons. So we have 20 neutrons in potassium. Looking at mercury, mercury has an atomic number of 80 and a mass number of 200.59. So mercury, atomic number of 80, so that means it has 80 protons and 80 electrons. Its ma atomic mass was 200.59. When we round to the nearest whole number, the mass number is then 201. In order to calculate the number of neutrons, we take the mass number of 201, subtract the number of protons, and we get 121 neutrons. So see, the number of protons, the number of neutrons, the number of electrons aren't always the same. The number of protons, the number of protons will always equal the number of electrons, which is equal to our atomic number, our mass number, is equal to the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So, pause the video lecture and practice here. Don't forget to take the practice quiz at the end of the video lecture.